Hello, my beautiful Aries, and welcome to your weekly love tarot reading for the week of May the 3rd up until May the 10th. Okay, Aries, let's go ahead and jump right into your reading. Hello, hello, my beautiful Aries. How have you guys been? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start calibrating to the energy of my wonderful Aries. Thank you so much, my guides, my angels, for providing any guidance and messages that Aries is here seeking to find this week. What do we have for Aries this week? Always remember that energies are fluid, so take it as it resonates. If I'm not talking about you, it's a possibility that I'm picking up on the energies of the person that you are dealing with or the situation at hand. So always, always take it as it resonates. And remember that this can be for your sun, your moon rising, or your Venus placement. So if those are dominant within your chart, please make sure to check those out as well. And Aries, I am now offering extended readings. So if you are interested in diving deeper into the situation after this reading, do check the description box below. The link to the extended is down there. That's where we dive deeper into this person's subconsciousness, their deeper thoughts about you, their deeper feelings for you, their next actions and moves. And you can also watch the preview by visiting ginamoon.com and clicking on extended readings. Okay, Aries, you are starting this week with the dominant energy of the drum roll. Wow, so the Knight of Pentacles. Now, here with the Knight of Pentacles, this is a very slow process, a very slow moving energy, very slow moving person or situation. So, it's calling for your patience. And when you tell an Aries to be patient, I don't know, it might kind of trigger something within you to actually go faster, okay? So Aries, this week it's asking you, this situation needs patience, okay? Patience is needed, so allow some time. Now let's go ahead and see what exactly is going on in your environment. So Aries, I'm so happy to see that someone is bringing down their walls starting this week. Whoever has had their walls up, something here is telling this person, hey, you know what? I think that that you need to start opening up, opening up your heart chakra. And then another person here, I feel like there's two energies here. There's one person here who is starting to open up and then there's a brand new energy who is very, very much so attracted to you. Yeah, so Aries, something here ended, okay? There was an ending in a connection, in a soulmate relationship. It doesn't have to be romantic. Soulmate connections can be like, you know, a family member, a friend, a work situation, whatever it is, something came to an end, something that you had invested a lot of emotions in something that you had invested a lot of time and came to an end. However, there is very positive news. However, some, someone here is very attracted to you. Okay. That's what I'm trying to say. Someone here has a lot of attraction to you. However, I do see that there are, you know, there is this kind of energy of a brand new beginning being kind of like held back. And the reason why I say that is because you do have the ace of swords here. However, it is in the reverse. So there is some information that you have to be patient with before you make a decision. There is information here that you still don't know, okay, before making some kind of a drastic decision. Now, this could be related to work, family, whatever it is. Now, let's go ahead and jump into this Knight of Pentacles and clarify it. What is this Knight of Pentacles for Aries this week? Okay, so Aries. Someone here is watching and waiting either for you or you for them. Someone here is stalking your social media or you are stalking theirs. Whoever is doing the stalking is waiting, okay, is patiently waiting for this information to come through before making a drastic decision. Now, I do sense that whoever this person is, okay, this person is coming across as being very devoted and very committed, okay? They're very devoted. They're very committed. They are, they, they are basically like, um, if, if it shows up in the right way, Aries, this person is willing to devote themselves to you, to commit themselves to you or to this venture or project or whatever it is. But someone here, before making a decision to do that, before making a decision to invest in the situation, still needs more information. So they are waiting for this information because this person, look at this, at the bottom of the deck, we have the four of wands here. With the four of wands, this represents 
a beautiful, beautiful festivity, a celebration. This means happy, happiness. This is joy. This means stability, structure. Someone here wants to build a structure with you. Someone here wants stability with you. They want something here for a long term. Basically, this situation would basically change your entire outlook on life and your entire life. But let's go ahead and see who this nine of swords is, because here I do sense that someone here has been very anxious. It's like somebody's anxiety has been horrible, but their exterior is showing up as powerful, whether it's this other person or you. Yeah. So one person here, see, I told you, you are dealing with two energies. <laughs> Aries, you are dealing with two people. Okay. There is one person here who is showing pridefulness, you know, the sense of pridefulness. They don't like to show emotions. This is a personality type that is very hesitant to show emotion. They're kind of, they shy away from being vulnerable. They're kind of like a novice in being in relationships. Perhaps this person is so used to being in charge in kind of like in, in the, in the role of being in control of situations. And so for them to show any sign signal of vulnerability is just not part of their nature. However, that does not mean that this person does not have emotions for you. There are two energies here, Aries, that are kind of feeling like this energy of wanting to offer you some kind of romantic gesture. Perhaps you're dealing with two people or perhaps you have been dealing with someone that you recently cut off from the past and there's a brand new energy coming in. Both of these energies do want to offer you some kind of form of love and this possibly, if this is not related to love, it's a brand new job, a brand new opportunity, something like that. But there are two energies here that are kind of like they are either competing for your attention or will be competing for your attention. So it's going to be ultimately your decision, Aries. Somebody here is definitely very attracted to you. They feel this energy of kind of like arousal. Okay. And then this other person here, I see them as more grounded. Okay. They're a little bit less restless than this other energy. This other energy is a little bit more controlling. This person, perhaps this other person here, maybe they're kind of like they approach things in a very practical kind of way. I do sense that this one is more spiritually uh, connected than this other one. Okay. I do sense that this person here is kind of like they see you as a gift. They see you as a treasure. They see you as, my goodness, I can't believe I manifested Aries into my reality, okay? So I do sense that whoever these two people are, it's still going to take some time because you are ultimately going to have to make some kind of a decision. But before that decision is made, there is information here that has still not come out into the open, but we're going to touch on the extended reading to see who these energies are, their deeper thoughts about you, their deeper feelings for you, their subconsciousness. Okay. Their next actions and their next moves and more information that wants to come out. Okay. But before we do that, let's go ahead and see what my guides and angels have for you. Aries this week, Aries spread your wings and fly. This is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and read this one out to you, Aries. Archangel Ariel, do not hold back right now, Aries. The timing is perfect and you are ready to soar. A brand new chapter, a brand new beginning. Your life basically about to change. But this is going to be based on your boldness, on your self-confidence, on your kind of like sense of taking risks, okay? Let's go ahead and see what else we have here as divine guidance and angel messages for Aries. Aries, see only love. And I feel like this is pertaining to whatever came to an end. You could have possibly been leaning with a Scorpio. It doesn't have to be, but let's go ahead and read this one out to you. Look past the seeming errors, Aries, mistakes and misunderstandings and see only the love within each person, including yourself. Your resolute focus upon the love that underlies every situation brings about healing in undreamed of ways absolutely beautiful, beautiful reading. This is what I have for you, my beautiful Aries. If you are interested in the extended reading, that's where we dive deeper into the situation, into the other person's subconsciousness, their deeper thoughts about you, their deeper feelings, their next actions and moves. Then click on the link in the description box below that will take you to the extended reading. And also don't forget to like and subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you are notified each week that I post for your sign. It really helps me and also the algorithm so that I can continue posting more readings like these for you guys on this platform. Alrighty then, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.
do hope that you enjoyed your reading. I do hope that it resonated. Let me know in the comments below if it did and let me know what's going on. I really love reading all of your stories. Believe me, I read every single one of your messages. Thank you so, so much for sharing that in your comments below. If you did enjoy this reading, please do give it a thumbs up. It really helps to support me and my channel. And if you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe to my channel. It really helps for me to continue posting these readings for you guys on this platform. Um, without further ado, thank you so, so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.